Good evening. Happy Thursday. I have another one for you. Today's topic is signs a woman lacks you. This is very easy to uh, notice with certain women or women that speaking with you at the moment, whether it's out in a public place, grocery store, uh, a home improvement store such as Lowe's, Home Depot, or a tractor and supplier store, stop and shop, or whatever you might be in the part of this world or in another state, whether it's Balo, grocery store, giant food world, food lion, pick and pay, pay less shoes, whatever, okay? A restaurant, club, beach, out and about, hanging out with the girls or the boys hanging out with the uh, his fellows. And you notice a woman will smile and then she will look directly in your eye. That makes me mean she's interested, okay? She first use her eyes to locate and direct you, letting her know that it's okay to talk to her and that she, she likes you, okay? And it's not by mistake that she likes you. She actually look you right in your uh, eyes, into your eyes to let you know that, okay, it's okay to talk to me. Okay, don't be scared, all right? That's basically what she's doing. Why? Because I had this happen to me many times. And that's how I usually meet the women that I have now in my phone, my phone as contacts. Okay? First thing she do, she looks you in the eye. She gives you eye contact. Her pubes go wide, get uh, start to stretching. You know, her pubes. Pupils and eyeball, they begin to uh, look funny. You ever saw somebody when you talk to them, they like the pupil getting big or something? A pupil get big and she start giggling like a schoolgirl or whatever. Thanks for coming into the live. Thanks for leaving the live. I don't know who you are, but thank you. Okay, I appreciate it. And she first, uh, I'm like, get her which I'm done. Um, she's ready to look at you in the eye and then she, uh, which means her, sure, her eye will sparkle. Okay. No, I'm not, I'm live, Angela. What do you want me to do? Big Z, you're welcome. Thank you, Big Z. How you doing? Thank you for coming to the live. Can I have you stay? Can I have you stay to the end? I uh, might not be here that long tonight. I'm going to be here. I know last night I said an, uh, an hour or 45 minutes. I ended up being here for, for two hours. But tonight I'll be here about a good 45 minutes, okay? Because I'm going to let a night, I'm going to let an all night run like I did yesterday. But usually I'll be successful in these type of uh, live. Signs a woman likes you. First thing is in the eyes, okay? That's how you can tell a woman is liking you. I am off the next two days, bro. I am chilling. Yeah, I know, man. I got tomorrow off, and I'm going uh, I'm to chill out. Yeah, I'm going to make my combos, all right? Uh, I run I run one now, and then I come back and run another live. All right? I, won't, I probably won't make it until all night live. I'll probably just run one. Just come on for about another an hour or 45 minutes. So make sure you stick around, come back. If you can, I appreciate it. Share the live out while you're into the chat. Uh, smash the like button as you're coming in. Please, while after I have everybody stay at least uh, 10 minutes, that'd be great. All right, the first thing you notice in her eyes, she look at you and her eyes sparkle and her puke get big. So that's the first thing, her eyes start sparkling, okay? That's the first thing on the list. All right, always when a woman talking to you and she's laughing, not that don't mean laughing at you, but smiling, she got the giggles. That means she like you, okay? Ain't no random woman gonna come out anywhere and, and start laughing and smiling and giggling like a, like a schoolgirl, okay? That woman like you, okay? Don't let no one fool you saying that she just being nice, okay? It's different from being nice to someone and then having interest, okay? Uh, I used to tell people all the time, oh, she just being nice. No, she likes you, okay? She look in your eye. Uh, that's hypothetical. You are a funny guy, okay? And she laughs at your jokes all the time. Even something that you didn't say. All right, wasn't that funny? She would still laugh at it because she, she totally like you. Okay, she's into you. Okay, but why? Because I've been there and I've done that and I still got women that does that now. Okay, I still got women thinking certain things I think I don't think is funny, but it, to them it's funny. Maybe the way I said it. Okay, and sometimes it can be a way you say things and make a woman laugh too. Okay, because that's why I tell guys to be different from other guys. Okay, now, I'm not saying tell a joke like a jaw joke. I'm saying be funny. Make her laugh. Say something that uh, other guys never said before, okay? Be different from other guys, and that will draw a woman to you closer and closer. Why? Because I've been there and I've done that, all right? Number two, she touched you on purpose. Oh, yeah. 
uh, like just on his shoulder, and no woman go come out of no. Study has showed that a woman does not touch a man by accident. When she touches you on the shoulder, and she does it multiple times, or whenever she see you or run across you, that means she like you. Okay. Uh, usually, women don't usually touch guys like that. Okay, because they, the women's are are different, and they don't usually do anything to touch guy on purpose. Why? Because they they don't usually do that. Okay. All right, only. People who touch you on purpose, a woman who that like really like the guy, or she into the guy, and she try to get to know him, for sure. Yeah, brother Art. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Uh, Big Z. Uh, women don't touch you on accident. They don't touch you on. They don't touch you uh, by accident. They don't like. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't touch you. No, they do it on purpose. Why? Because they want you to know that they like you. Okay, that's a way of saying maybe she try to feel how your your you know like your muscle, your shoulder. And stuff like that, okay? I'm not gonna be here that long. I'll probably be here about a good half an hour, 45 minutes, then I'll come live again because not too many people in the chat. It is 7 30. Maybe I came a little too early. Uh, but I'll be here for a good half an hour, 45 minutes. As you're coming into the live, smash the like button, share the live out. Okay, let me share my own live out. So women don't touch guys on purpose. Okay. Studies show that they don't do that. Okay. They the uh the into you. And when they enter you, they touch you. They make you let uh, they let you know that they they uh, they enter you and they like you. Okay. Let me share my own live. Okay, women don't touch you by accident. Okay, women don't do that. They touch you because they like you. All right, I have to share my own life. All right, women don't do that on purpose. They touch you because they let you know that they they like you. All right, that's number one. I mean number two. All right. Okay, and and we'll lead and we're leaning to you on purpose. Okay, that means she will lean in, even if she not even if she not tempted to hug you. But she'll try to like lean in, in front of you, or she hopefully that you will uh, that will bump bodies to bodies, or maybe she could come in your face, and maybe get close to close like this, like you about to kiss her. Okay, uh, women do that on purpose. They don't. Women don't accidentally do that. They do that on purpose, especially if she's feeling you and she like you. Okay, uh, when a woman doesn't do this to a guy, whether she look him in the eye when her pubes get bigger or whatever, she's staring at you and her eyes kind of sparkle. And she's not into you, okay? If she's like kind of like lean towards you, okay, that's saying she she like you, all right? And um, she wants you to get a close up range look at her, maybe her boobs or whatever, okay? All right, whatever. Uh, look close look up her face, her teeth, or uh, 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 her eyes or whatever, okay? And she make excuses because she want to touch you, and she will make excuses. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I didn't do that. She'll say something like that. You probably hear her say something like that. Like she, like she, she'll be apologetic. You know, she'll apologize. Uh, why? Because she leaned in too closer to you. Okay. To make it seem like, oh, I didn't I meant to do that. You know, I didn't meant to do that. Okay. That's what she try to do. So when you listen out for those signs and listen out for that and pay attention when a woman does that. Okay. That's very important that men. Pay attention when a woman does that, right? That means she likes you, she's into you, and she's just letting you know that anytime you want to hug or touch me, you can, okay? That's basically what she's saying to you. There's no ifs and buts about it. Why? Because I know. I've been through that already, okay? I know that it works, okay? And that's number two. Number three, she laughed at your jokes, okay? When you can make a woman laugh, okay? You are golden, okay? That's the first thing. Uh, if you go on the uh, dating website like eHarmony, Match.com, or whatever, or Tinder, you'll see a lady say on her on her profile, must be able to make me laugh, must be have a sense of humor, must, must be a, a, a all going out guy, or a, uh, a all going out guy. That would mean a guy who's funny, who's outgoing, who's laid back, and not bored, okay? That's basically what she's saying. 
in a in her profile. She's not saying don't be bored, but she's what she's saying in another way so it won't offend people or offend him. So basically what she's saying is must be outgoing, be able to make me laugh, maybe night and day. You know, sometimes people got some crazy hold on for a minute. Hold on a minute. Give me a minute, y'all. Yeah, I'll be done. All right. So she will uh, make she will she will tell you you must be this, you must be that, you must be this, you must be that, okay? All right. So she telling you that hey, you need to be this, you need to be that, be funny, be flirtatious, and um you need, all right. Um so she she will laugh at your joke, even if your jokes is not funny. And that's why I tell guys, be funny, be flirtatious. Okay, at all times. Be funny and the woman will uh know that you um are real and you're not trying to pretend to be somebody who you're not. I tell my friend tells me all the time that I'm funny, okay? Uh I remember when I first started talking to her, I remember this very well as it happened yesterday. She said, and this was about two years ago, she said, you know, you funny. Okay. That's a compliment. Okay. When a woman says you she's not saying you're trying to be funny, okay. And she's not saying uh you was, you know, she's not saying you try to be funny. What she's saying is you are funny. Okay. You are funny indeed. And anytime she talks to you, you just a funny guy. Okay. Not a clown, but a guy who can make her laugh, no matter what the conversation can be. It could be about anything, like the weather, what are you doing for the weekend? I don't usually do those kind of uh those type of conversation because it doesn't lead to anything, is it? It's an endless conversation. You know, you got to be flirt, flirt with her, okay? Like, be a little nasty, but not too nasty. You know, let her make her know, hey, you know what? You're on my radar, and I've been thinking about you, okay? And she might laugh, you know, and say, hey, I'm not laughing. I'm for real. And then she says, oh, God. You know, let her know, look, hey, I call you to talk to you, and I'll talk to you how I miss you, okay? Be a little flirtation with the woman. Don't sit there and talk about the birds and the bees and how it was the other day. We know it's summer. We know it's 80 degree weather in certain states. We know it's gonna rain, maybe possibly a thunderstorm. Okay, that's nothing. That's nothing wrong talking about that. But be more flirtation, especially when she's into you and she she laughing at all your jokes, even things that is not funny. She will laugh at them. Why? Because she really into you. Okay, she really into you, and that's what she likes. Okay, you make her feel a certain way. When a guy make a woman feel a certain way, she can't help it. Trust me, she can't help it but to laugh, okay? Just about anything, just because she really like you. She'll laugh at, she'll laugh about just about anything. Why? Because she really feeling you and she really like you, okay? She really do like you. Why? Because she want you to know that, okay, it's not, not only I like you, but I like you because you make me laugh, okay? And that's exactly what it is, all right? And she can't help herself. Correct. She cannot help herself. When she laughs, she can't help herself. Okay. That's basically what she she uh she can't do. She can't help herself because you make her laugh. Okay. And that's what it's all about. You make her laugh. All right. But to laugh at them, she can't help herself but to laugh at any joke that you tell, even the one that are funny, and even the one that's not funny, she just can't help it. Why? She giggled. She just too much into you. She really like you. So even if the jokes are not funny, she just can't help herself. Okay? She gonna laugh regardless. All right? Number four, she will text you just because she thinking of you and she can't help but to text you anytime. Okay? So what this means? You always on her mind, no matter where she at and where she may be at work, whatever. Even if y'all had talked to one another about an hour ago or two hours ago or a day before, she constantly will have you on her mind. Why? I mean, this is talking about a woman who's really into a guy and she's feeling him and she just overwhelmed over the hills, really love the guy. I like the guy, okay? And she just can't stop thinking about you right now. You got her in clouds, okay? I witnessed this. Why? Because I had a woman on clouds before. She couldn't help herself but to call me all the time, okay? I didn't mind because I knew I had her. Okay, this is not saying to manipulate her. It is the way I it's the way I made her feel. Okay. This is the way I made the woman feel a feel a certain way. And that's why she couldn't help but to text me and call me. Why? Because I made her feel a certain way. Okay. And that's how you 
men's got to do with certain women. You got to make a woman feel a certain way. Let her be drawn to you, okay? And she would text you any time of the day. It doesn't matter what day it is, because it's a uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. She'll text you any time, okay? Any time. All right, that's number four. Number five, she will she will tell you she miss you even uh even after you had talked with her over the phone or in person. She will tell you uh she miss you even if you let's say hypothetical she call you okay and um y'all talk for about 15, 20 minutes or an hour. The moment you hang up, I say about a good half an hour, an hour, or two hours, she will call you again or she will text you say I really look I really like to talk to you. I really like I, I really like you and I hope. We can continue to see one another, and I hope you continue to make me happy and feel this this type of uh, way. Okay, basically that's what she's saying. Okay, why why is she saying that? Because I know I've been there. I had a woman on clouds before. She's on clouds. She can't help herself. Okay, and you just make her feel so good inside that she never felt this type of feeling. So now she's on cloud. Why? Because she really like you. How? Because y'all met at some restaurant or some in a public place and then y'all looked at one another and her eyes sparkles a moment it was instant instant attraction okay between you and her you didn't you didn't back down you look her right in the eye with confidence and she looked in your eye with confidence okay and then y'all then y'all began to exchange phone number and then uh, y'all call one another on the same day that you met and you made her laugh you made her laugh when y'all were just briefly just talking to one another as a stranger but y'all exchange phone number now, she can't help herself. Why? Because it's something about this guy that turned her on and she just can't help it, okay? He makes her laugh, he makes her feel good, okay? He always has something fresh to say. That don't mean like smart, but like something uh, different from all the other guy who she met. And that's what she liked about this particular guy. I was that guy before and I'm, I, I'm still that guy who makes a woman feel a certain way. That's what you're supposed to do. Make a woman laugh. And you go and trust me, okay? Don't be bored, okay? Women don't like bored guys who send the same boring text message like all the other guys. Hey, how you doing? What are you doing? What time you gotta go to work? What time you gotta go to work? Who wants to hate that type of text message? That's bored, okay? Hey, baby, okay? Do be different from other guys, okay? You don't want to do the same text message as others, okay? Be different. All right. And that's basically what I'm saying in this live podcast. Again, I'm not going to be here that long. I don't have a lot of people in it right now. I only got one person, one, one like 18, 18 seconds and 10, 10 seconds. OK. All right. But uh, I'm in here for about half an hour. Donna, Donna, just being real. Hi, dear. How you doing? King R and chat. I'm listening and cleaning. Thank you, dear, for coming in. Uh, thank you. Uh, I, I made up my mind that I'm gonna continue to do my thing, even if nobody don't come up, because I know some people they are funny bunnies. Okay. All right. All right. I'm not gonna get into that because I don't want to uh, hide my video because I'm saying certain things. Uh, you know, people are funny bunnies. All right. But uh, yeah. So she will. Uh, she will tell you she miss you. I'm, I'm. I'm talking about a woman that uh that actually does feel a guy. I'm not talking about a woman who's an attention whore, who mislead, who strain guys alone just to get validation, okay? I'm not talking about that tonight. That was yesterday. Now I'm talking about a woman and a man when they when they, uh, connect, when they connect together, okay? And they, were, they didn't know one another, but the, the guy looked at her and she looked at the guy and they did eye contact, okay? The guy didn't look the way, she didn't look the way. They smiled and then the connection happened, okay? And then the guy says something funny, maybe says something. Then he got a number, and then she took his number, and he took her number, and then they call one another that same day. Because if a woman really feeling you, as I always tell people, okay, uh, she will make time for you. She will not make it uh, complicated, okay. She will cooperate with the guy, okay. She will call him, she will text him, she will uh, plan the date or whatever. At this moment here, this woman is into this guy so much that she just can't help it, okay? Even if his jokes are not funny, okay? She just laughs at anything that he says that comes out of his mouth. Why? Because she might she might like the way how he talks, okay? That's another way, okay? Uh, hi, King R. 
Chat, I'm listening. Cleaning. Sorry, I meant cooking. Laughing out loud. That's all right, Donna. You didn't do anything. Thank you for being here, Donna. And Big Z was Big Z came in. Thank you, Big Z. He was here, but I think he left. He left for lack and stayed a couple minutes. Um, one big sign is when she makes time for you. When you ask her out, the last minute to see you. Correct. That's what I'm saying, Donna. Crack commando. Yeah. A lot of guys don't realize that. When a woman when a woman uh, makes time for a guy, okay, she will make it easy for him. And I keep telling guys that, and guys don't listen. They don't listen, Donna. They don't listen. Even women. I, I tell women the same thing. If a guy really into you, if he's not straining you along, because guys can be attention hold too. Okay, they can they can strain uh, women's alone and making the women thinking that they have a change with them, but yet they're doing the opposite just to get attention. When a guy feeling a woman, he will make time for her. He will schedule a date. He will text her. He won't ignore her phone calls, stuff like that. You know, this is we're talking about people who are actually are feeling people, and not everybody feel everybody. I understand it, and I get it. But same thing when a woman feeling a guy, yes, Donna, she will make time for him. Okay, even if at the last minute, even if he said, hey, uh, I'm sorry, I don't usually do this, but I like for us to go out tonight. I know tonight is Thursday night. I know you probably want to relax, but I, I want to see you. And she's really feeling him. She will get up, get herself dressed, take her shower, whatever, put on her makeup or whatever she had to put on to look, to look her best, to look good, to go see that guy. Why? Because she really likes to do just to do that when they first met out in some type of public place. Was it in New York or at some grocery store or whatever, right? They click, they click, uh, they click uh, at the moment, okay? Not, not everybody click at the moment, okay? A lot of times people don't believe that no more. Oh, nobody can click like that. Yes, they can. If a woman really feeling the guy, they can't click on the first, first, first time meeting up with one another, you know. And especially if they don't know one another, yes, yeah, they can't click. They can't click. Yeah, they can click. Uh huh. So I've been live for 22 minutes and 27 seconds. Donald, just being real, she will put on her makeup, hair looking good, and wearing her heels. Correct. Correct, Commando. And a lot of guys don't understand. She will put on, as, as Donna saying here below, on the, below the podcast, she said she will, she will put on her makeup, hair looking good, and wearing her high heels. Definitely she will do that. And a lot of guys fail to look at the, the, the things that women get them body signs and and um and choosing signals and stuff like that. Okay. She will make time for the guy. She won't make excuses. She won't be she won't be hard. Okay. All right. What I mean by hard, she won't make she won't make nothing hard or complicated for the guy. Okay. She'll just make everything easy and relaxed. They go out, you have a good time, you come back, you sit down, you chat for a little bit and you talk, okay? So that's what women does. You know, women that really feel in the guy. Okay, now again, we talk about women that really uh, had a connection with a guy and they both exchange phone numbers and they start talking. And then the lady actually accidentally, why, you know, texting. Why? I know because I had, this, I had this lady, right? Let me tell you my story, Dawn. I don't think you heard about the story about the, uh, about uh, this lady I know named um, Jennifer, right? She's a white girl, right? She comes on my job all the time. Well, she's a woman. I mean, I'm sorry. She's a woman. She comes on my job. I remember I used to be overweight. Overweight. I used to have a big belly, and you know I was all right. But I, I know I need to lose weight. And she used to, she used to hug me all the time. You know, she said, "Oh hi," she to, and she used to just do this type of hug. I said, "Oh," I didn't thought nothing of it because I didn't know how to read body sign, right? I said, "Oh, she's just being nice." Okay, that, that ain't nothing wrong with that. So then, when I really lost all the weight, we would talk for about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, how you doing? I'm doing good. You know, I'm working, staying out of trouble, stuff like that. She said, oh, okay, that's good. Well, we want to talk for like a brief minute, not too long. I said, well, I said, let me let you go then because I know you got to find some stuff. Uh, I know you're probably on your lunch. She said, oh, no, 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 I'm good. I don't want to disturb you because I don't because I know you're at work. I said, no, nah, I'm all set. So we will talk for about a couple of minutes. Oh, I guess she, will, she will leave. So a couple of months went by, I hadn't saw her, and I lost some, I lost a lot of weight. So she came up and I was talking to my friend. I saw someone on the corner of my eye looking on her. I was like, who's that looking? Who's that looking on me on the side of me like that? So I turned around, that was Jennifer. She couldn't believe that was me. Cause she used to me being big and had a big belly. And she go, What happened to you? I said, I lost weight. I had to get the weight off. 
And she said, come here, darling. Come and give me a hug. Can not give me a hug? And she touched me and she kissed me on my neck. I think that was a little too much, okay? I thought it was a little too much. Right? So I ain't say anything. I let it go. And every, and every time she came in, she did the same setup, same hug, same kiss on the neck. And I said, oh, this is getting too, I think this lady tried to turn me on, right? You know, I'm, I'm like, come on, lady, go give me on her heart here. Stop. So, you know, she would come in and kiss me again, kiss me every time I see her. Every time I see her, she would do the same thing. She was giving me, um, she was singing like, hey, what are you waiting on? Asking for my number. I didn't know that, okay? I didn't know that. So I did get her number. Right? I didn't know it. I didn't know it until the end. And she gave it to me. She said, you know, I was giving you choosing signal, but you didn't you didn't know how to I, I can tell you didn't know how to read them. I said, yeah, that's a, that, you know, that was a while back. But now I know how to read uh, body language. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The neck. She was trying to turn you on. Yeah. Yeah. Right on the neck. Right on the neck. Right on the neck. Yeah. So you 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 now that I mentioned that, Donna, why I got you here. Now I know you're a relationship specialist. When a, is it usually a, a woman kiss a guy on the neck? Because I know you're a relationship specialist. You did say, "Oh yes, the neck." She was trying to turn you on. So I'm actually I'm asking the question to you: Is it is it usual a woman kiss a guy on the neck? Like right on the neck? She take a different. I'm a I'm in a hug, hug, not a not a friendly hug, but a nice. Tight hug, and then she kisses you on the neck. I think that's a little too much. What do you think about that one? Because I think I thought that was a little too much what she did, but I, I didn't say anything. I think that she tried to turn me on or something. That that is okay, but with her doing that so fast like that, she is basically saying she wants you to suck. Uh, ooh, that is okay, but with her doing that so fast like that, she is basically saying she wants to suck you. Oh, okay, okay. Wow, I hope I am making sense. Yeah, I think so too, uh, because she was she was, and she had this little noise like a. <laughs> Like a little, uh, like a grunt noise when she was hugging me, and I said, "This lady is, uh, you know, this lady is hot, hot in the behind." You know, I ain't say it out loud, but I kind of say it to myself. You know, I said, "Wow," I said, "Wow," you know, I said, "This is crazy," but I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. You know, it made me when she hugged me. Sometimes, sometimes I didn't want to take a shower. <laughs> That's how that hug was, man. That hug was hilarious. Basically, she is looking. For your hookup, not really trying to be serious. Okay, so that's probably what it was. And looking for a hookup, then, yeah, I think that's exactly what it. I think that I believe you too, Donna. I saw her last week, and you know what happened? She changed on me because she normal. She normally will hug me first and kiss me on the neck. So I hugged her and I kissed her on the neck. Hey, baby girl, say hi. I said hi to Donna. Hi. Get in the camera. She can't see you. Get in. Hi. Yeah, right here. Hi. That's my baby. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't like you. I love you. Uh, okay. All right. Hi, beautiful. She said hi, beautiful. Thank you. She said thank you. I get my braids taken out. That's why I look like a grandma. Oh, she getting that braid, her her uh, 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 braids taken out. I'm she sure. said that's why she look like a grandma. We want me to go to the store. Yeah. Okay. I got a boo boo. You welcome, young lady. She said you welcome, young lady. Look. Okay. Oh, you hurt yourself. Oh. She said you welcome. Thank you. Yeah, she ain't see you in the camera. Get over here and see again. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's what it was, too. I said, maybe I ran her off because I, what I did, I gave her my number, right? And she never did call. So I think I messed up. I should have met you a long time ago, Donna. Jeez. Yeah, so I messed up. 
but uh, so when I came back, when she came back, when I came back, she uh, she she was kind of like different. So when I when she came back and I hugged her, she moved her neck over. She didn't. That don't mean she moved her. She didn't. It don't mean that she didn't want me to kiss her. Uh, she normally would hug me and kiss me first. So it was the opposite. So I had to kiss her. And then we was talking like maybe I, I fix the next time when I see her. I get her. I get her. Yeah. So she probably was looking for a hookup, maybe. This a this a hookup and then go. Yeah. Yeah, because she was married one time. She got divorced. She was throwing it at you. You took too long for her to hook up. Uh, you laser or something else. Yeah, I know, right? She just, she just, I took too long. Yeah. What's up? Ashanti. What? She made me the article. But when I turn it on the floor and put it on the coffee table. Oh, okay. Don't let that bother you. I said, it's not my fault I moved it. Right. She should have put it in her room. Sometimes I just want to knock her teeth out. Mm. No, baby, don't fight. She hits me. She needs to start hitting you then. Okay, go back to your live. I'm going to play my obby. Okay. So anyway, I messed up, Donna. Yeah, I, I, you know, it's like you wouldn't be throwing any games that you don't even have a clue. Some men don't have a clue. Now I know how to read the bottle language now, but I didn't have a clue at the time. So I admit it. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a man. I can, I can main up and say I admit it. I did not see her. Uh, I did not see her throw her, her language at like that. You want me to turn this down? No, you're good. You have to stop. Do your, do your thing. So I messed up. Big time. Yeah, she was throwing herself at me, all right. She sure was. I should have took advantage of it. But I was, it was on the work job, though. It was on the, it was on my work job. I was scared to, you know, I didn't want to do nothing, you know, like a, a sexual harassment thing. So I had to be careful. It wasn't like we was out, not on the job. She would come in my job and do that. Like inside inside the building, and then she'll do it outside the building. But what I should have did was one thing I should have reached, I should have leaned in and kissed her. Yeah, on a on a lip. <laughs> I should have leaned in and kissed her on the lip. <laughs> like on the mouth. Yeah. Yeah. I should have did that. That would have been better. Yeah. Yeah. I know, right? I should have did that, Don. I didn't do it. Silly me. Silly old boy. Didn't do it right. Yep, silly old boy me. Didn't do it right at all. Yep, silly me, silly me. So I've been live for 33 minutes and 17 seconds. Yeah, uh, I wasn't gonna go that long. I wasn't gonna go that long over for about 45 minutes, but I go an hour and then I and I end the live and then I uh I go live later, about eleven o'clock. Uh, maybe I'll be in front of the camera for for a little bit. Yeah, I'll probably put the title uh, "Being in Front of the Camera," and then the rest of it will be, uh, you know, be a uh, I let it run. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I do tonight. But yeah, I saw your video today about uh, um, you know, your random video about certain topics. I was watching on my lunch break. I was sending some. Um, I saw some. I saw your video, and I was sending them, uh, sending you uh, some uh, some feedback from the videos, and stuff like that. And then I watched a couple uh, "Living Your Best Life" song. I think she did one as a premiere. I did it this morning. It was on an eight. It was on one minute and eighteen second. And I think she. Went, I don't know if she went live at four o'clock, but I was at work. And I, I, I did not allow you to look at your phone. Working. I let it probably let it run in the background, but you know people are funny bunnies sometimes. You know when they when they don't um uh, and you don't be there. Not that I not that I, I did it because I didn't want to show up, but they are funny bunny. Yes, thank you for checking out my video. I leave uh, leaving real feedback. Yeah, I know because some people are funny bunnies. Uh, Donna, they pretend like they watch they watch a video, but they when they post it, let it play to the end. And they'll spam the video or they'll play like maybe two or three minutes of it and then they'll stop. And then they'll leave a, a, a comment. You know, it's like, like you're making they, are, they are half half playing the list 
And then the spam people video, they're funny bunnies. Yeah. Just like people now, they're funny bunnies, okay? If you're not sitting into their live, they don't want to come in yours, you know? Everybody, you know, I shouldn't say everybody, but certain people, I mean, we all want to get monetized. There's no sense being like that, you know? It's like, you don't, it's like a kid. You don't come in my line, I'm not going to come in yours. You know, it's like that. It shouldn't be like that. Everybody should help one another out. You know, but I'm the one not to complain about it. I just do what I got to do and do my thing as usual, as you see me doing now. And I, I don't know. I watch those who watch mine. You know, I mean, I don't. Yours, maybe I watch yours because yours are a lot more interested than most people that I have saw. You know, I saw m many women at Topic. And then it's like, okay, uh, that's okay. You know, but, you know, yours is uh, it's real. It's educational. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm watching all your videos. Yeah, I basically try my best to make videos under six minutes. If they can't watch that, I know they are not into my channel. If you're not, be real. And yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm getting to the point that if I do get monetized, I'm going to go make a five or six minute video. Because I think if you get monetized, you have to, you have to be 10 minutes or greater. It could be 20 minutes. You know, that's why I, after I get monetized, uh, whatever, I'm doing this if I can get my watch out or whatever. But after that, I'm just going to do like eight, eight minutes, six minute video on my combos. I might do some of these, but it'll be a quick video. It'll be like a maybe a 15, eight minute, nine minute. I make it short. I, I make sure I speak very fast so I can knock, so I can make them eight minutes or five minutes come in. Thank you, King. I appreciate that. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, because people are funny bunnies, you know, and they, uh, you know, and uh, I got some funny bunnies now. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about nobody, but there, there's some funny bunnies. You know, I had some people who watch uh, other people's channel and they start watching them because they, they got mad because the person got monetized so they start watching the person's channel. There's no reason to do that. Or if a person is too busy and they can't come in their live at the moment, sometimes people get, they get a little offended. They get a little offended and then they, they'll pay them back by not coming back in their live. Okay, I mean, that's, that's childish. I have to change my page. I feel it's took long. So many people don't like to read. Oh, yeah, I know. They don't want to read. They don't want to read anything, Donna. You're right. Hey, Keisha. You say hi to Donna? Hi, Donna. Yeah. My son's saying hi to you. Yeah, can you see? There you go. Say hi to Donna. I would not watch a live that don't have a topic. Yeah, because, you know, a lot of people, they do motivation topics. There's nothing wrong with motivation topics and how to be yourself. But sometimes those topics is like, they're like, they're like a long drawn out. And then you go, like, oh, my God, you know, like, no, I'm not knocking nobody. No, I'm not calling no name. But I know what you're saying. Uh, live don't have a real good topic, you know, like something that I can learn from. And a lot of people don't like these topics because it speaks about them. Like you said before, you know, like the top I did about gold digger. A lot of people, a lot of women know they're a gold digger. They don't want to hear. They use men for money. They use men to buy them lunches and dinners and breakfasts and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Hampson, young man, thank you. He said thank you. Yep. Hampson, young man, always read your, always read young, oh, read young man. Yeah. Stay studying. Yeah, that's right. Always read. Yeah. Read, read, read. That's what I tell my kids. Read, read, read. Give me the electronic. Read. 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 Yeah, I just read my notes. Yeah, read, read. Hey. Yeah. I will not watch a lie that don't have topic. Me neither, Don. I would never, I would never watch a lie that don't have topic. That don't make sense. This is a waste of my time and energy. Yeah. Rewriting. That's all right. That's okay. That's all right, Donna. You didn't do anything. I, I know who's loyalty now. I know who's loyalty. I know you loyalty. Yeah, I, you know, Big Z loyalty. There's a couple other people there loyalty, but, you know, people get in that, people get into that state. Need why people are doing that because they in other lives or maybe they're out doing something about it. Always read. Keep studying, young man. That's right. That's right. Can you do me a favor? Grab my phone. I got to check something. Yeah, I tell my kids all the time, Donna. Read right there. That's my other phone. 
Let me see what 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 is going on. Yeah, tell them to read all the time, Donald. Read, read, read. Read the book. Read, read, read. Don't give up. Read, read, read. Because when you read, then you 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 develop a knowledge. King or I will love you. She said, King or I will love you to to purge my channel. Get rid of my dead weight. I know. I got a lot of dead weight on my channel. I got a lot, a lot of them. I got a lot of them on here. I got some that come in here sometimes. They're not, they're not, some of them are not supported. Sometimes they're not supported. You know, sometimes they get in, they get in that mood, that mode that they don't want to um, sometimes come in. And I, I agree with you on that. I totally agree with you, Don. That's what I want you two to do. Purge my thing. Purge my channel because people are not loyal to you like you say they are. Yeah, they're not loyal to you. They're not loyal to you at all. Then when you tell them they're not loyal to you, they get an attitude. Exactly. You are uh, developing your knowledge. I read every day. Yeah, you develop your knowledge when you read every day. Yeah. And the more you read, the more you know. Yeah. The more you read, the more you will know about what is going on. You know? And I, and I totally agree with you, Donna. Sandra Nelson, hello. I'm late. Yeah, you late. You late. You late. You very, very late. You late. You late. You very, very late. Yeah, you are late. Huh? You know better than being late. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Hi, Sandra Nelson. She are late indeed. Yeah. I, I forgive you this time. Don't let it happen again, all right? <laughs> oh, sorry. Hey, Donna, girl. She reviews everything. Hey, bro. She reviews everything. Just launched her first, her first intro. I told her she put up her band, her band on her channel. That's her new channel. That's her second channel. And I saw your, uh, I saw your message. I'm watching you. I saw what you put up. You say welcome to my channel, and you did like a 27 minute intro. See, I remember. That's how loyalty I am. I'm watching. I'm watching. I'm watching you living your best life. Not not a not a not a stalker now. Okay, don't 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 get me twisted. Living your best life. Living your best life. Dun 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 dun. Living your best life. Living your best life. Dun 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 dun. I know. I'm sorry. Right. Uh, hello, everyone. Yeah, I got some. Hello, everyone. Sandra, Donald, Marlene, and everyone else. Hello, screw. I know you're not a stalker. That's right. I'm not a stalker. I'm just a man of high value, baby. <laughs> How living your best life? How you doing? Yeah, we, if you missed the beginning of this podcast, me and Donna was talking about uh, hi, screw. Thank you, screw, for coming into the live and Sandra Nelson and living your best life. We're talking about when a woman actually into a guy and if a guy was out and about was it at a grocery store or whatever, okay? They decided to look at one another in the eye and they begin to get eye contact. Eye, eye contact is a must, okay, before you do anything, okay, with a woman. When the eye contact appear and connect with the man and the woman, she basically looking at him in the eyes telling you, hey, I like you, I like you so far, okay? Why don't you make a move, okay? So the guy, if they're both connecting with one another, okay, and her poops get big, her peeps or whatever get big, that means she like him, okay? And all he had to do is make his move, do his thing, uh, all right? So then after that, she'll begin to giggle. She'll accidentally lean into him, okay? Women do not lean into men, okay, unless she unless she like him. So it's not an accident that she did it. She did it because she liked him, okay? That's, that is all too. Why? Because I did it, and I've been there, okay? Living good to hear. Living, I am doing fine. I am glad to finally be home. Long day at work. Yeah, I'm keeping you earned. 
I won't be taxing much. I am working on something on the background. Okay, my brother, do your thing. Do your business. Handle your business. That's what it's all about. Do your thing. 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 So don't pay me no mind. I'm just running here, running my mouth as usual. Okay. So when a when a woman and a man click uh, clicks, okay, all right, and Lord have mercy, don't let him be funny, okay. Women love guy who's hilarious. Why? Because I'm funny, and I witness it. That's how I begin to talk to a lot of women every day. The more you talk to women, the more comfortable you get, and the less you talk to women, you be, become nervous, and then don't know what to say to the lady. So the more you talk to her. Open up to her, and I'm not saying tell her everything, but when you first meet a lady out in the public, whatever it might be at a restaurant or whatever, club, beach, or whatever, or just going out on a vacation on the airplane, and you ask her, Can I sit here? You know, something like that. You can get to know a lady, okay? All right. But the eye contact thing is a must, okay? As I said on my on my list. Hey Keyshawn. So she'll lean in, she'll lean into the guy like this, like this, hoping that he will get a glimpse, okay, of her brass. Uh, a close range of her face, her teeth, or whatever. Okay, and she'll she would touch the guy on her sh on his shoulder. Now, women don't you don't normally touch a guy. Okay, that I know. All right, if she's not feeling you, she's not going to touch you. Okay, if she likes you and she giggles like a little schoolgirl or a high school girl or whatever, or just giggles, but she still she seems tickled. That means she really like you. Okay, I know because I've been there. I had women say that to me before. Okay, then she'll like you, then she'll give you her number. She'll make it easy for you. Okay, she will not make it hard for you. She'll give you a number right off the back, like that. Okay, and then you'll give her your number, and then y'all call that same exact day. Okay, and then she'll just be talking to you or over the phone or whatever. Y'all meet up somewhere in the public, y'all talking and laughing and giggling. That means y'all both are into one another. Okay, there's no boredom. You're not bored. She's not bored. I tell guys, be flirtatious. Make her laugh, okay? I'm not saying be a clown. Now, if you have it like I do, natural, okay, then you're golden. If you can make a woman laugh all the time, even a woman who's really feeling the guy, normally she laughs at his jokes in a way because maybe she liked the way he talked, the way he walked, the way he carried himself. I just like him in all, in general, okay? And Lord have mercy. If she does like the way he look a certain way and the way he talks, he, he's, he's more funny than she thought he is, okay? All right? So she would say something like, you funny, okay? That's a compliment, okay? So pay attention, guys, when a woman compliment you. What well, she's telling you that you, she's not saying you trying to be funny. She's saying you are funny, okay? You are funny indeed, and she enjoy the conversation y'all having at the moment, okay? On any given day, whether it's snowing, raining, sneak, or whatever, okay? She enjoy your company no matter what. Even if the jokes are not funny, she laughs at everything that comes out of your mouth. Why? Because she can't help it. She's well over, over the hills for you, okay? That's how much she like you. You make her feel like she's on the cloud. You make her feel like she's flying in midair, okay? You just make her feel good, okay? It's just like, it's just like uh, being debt-free. You have no bills to pay no more. You can save your money, okay? That's how she feel, all right? Let's see what the chat's saying. I'll find a way... Uh, I, I find a way to make contact. How's that living your best life? Explain to me. Yes, glad you made it home safety, Donald. Facts. Yes, screw man. A lot of people don't understand that. When you make a when a woman when a guy make a woman feel a certain way, she just can't help it. Okay, she can't help it. Why? Because she really into this guy. Okay, when a woman's not really into a guy, she won't do these things. She won't give him a minute of a day. She will make excuses why she don't want to give you her number. She'll say, oh, I got a, I got a boyfriend. Or I don't give my number out. I'm sorry, it's a stranger. Okay? Why? Because it happened to me. I know what I'm talking about. You probably heard, if you're a man, you probably heard some women say that too. Okay? Or a woman, all right? So let's see what the chat's saying. Live your best life. Thank you for those words. Uh, living your best life. Yes, they will find a way to show affection. Correct, living your best life. She will find a way to make connection with the guy, okay? Even if she had to touch him, okay? Even if she had to lean into him and bump him, all right? She would do it. Or she will bend over in front of him, too. So you got to watch out for that, all right? Or she will say something flirtation-wise, like kind of nasty, but on the innocent side, okay? All right? So 
pay attention, guys. When women do this here, she's feeling you, pay attention, all right? Don't let no one tell you when a woman is laughing all the time and, and smiling that she's just only been an attention whore. Dan Anderson, like my brother, six like Dan, I gotta come check you out, guys. Check out Dan Anderson. Mr. Anderson, uh, God bless you all. Uh, he plays music. He plays the guitar. He makes his own music. Check him out, guys. He's a he's a brother, okay? Check out Mr. Anderson. Matt respect. Yeah, Matt respect to you, my brother. Uh, guys, I'm not joking. Check out Dan Anderson when this live in. Check out my brother, all right? He, uh, he, he pops in here and say hi. You know, he come, you know, he, he, he plays music. Just hang in there and listen to Mr. Dan play, okay? Listen to Mr. Dan play. He plays some music. He been on my, he came on my, I met him a couple months ago. I think I, I met him through, uh, I think Glam Beauty Live or Collar Girl Live or somebody. I think it was Blood Nation, Blood Nation. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for the love, my friend. You're awesome. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, guys, go check out Mr. Dan. Dan is my brother, guys. He, he mean well. He play music. He play it from his heart. Okay. He plays it from his heart. All right. And when I see him play, sometimes he have the good tone and show it. He goes like this into the light. Hello, family. Okay. All right. Go support my brother. Go help my brother out. Go watch his content. Watch the video in full. He go lives too. He go live random time. You know, sometimes he pops up on my screen and stuff like that. And I, I watch it. Uh, I watch, I think I watch a couple of them, but I forgot to leave a comment. So I got to leave a comment to let him know I was there. Okay. So when you do visit Mr. Dan, leave a, a, a decent comment and let him know that you was there to show some love. Okay. Show some love to my brother. Uh, he's good. He's not new. He's, he's, he's been on my channel before. Okay. Show some love to my brother. All right. He is family. Yeah. He is family. He's my family. He's y'all family. Uh, go show some love to Mr. Dan. Matt, respect to him. Uh, he plays the guitar. Okay. And good, I love guitars. Okay, I love bass guitar, but I, I like the way he play. Okay, I like the way Mr. Dan plays his music. All right, thank you so much for the love, my friend. Awesome, thank you, my friend. Uh, Donald, hello, living the best life. God bless, and Dan, I am trying, family, loving a lot. God bless you, brother. Very other day, yeah. God bless you too, Mr. Dan. Keep playing that music. Okay, don't let nobody discourage you. You keep giving, play what God gave you. God gave you that talent. Use it. Use it to the best of your ability. Okay, use it for you can get monetized and make some money out of that stuff. Okay, yeah, go visit my brother, guys. Go show some love to Mr. Dan. Okay, uh, he's awesome. All right, thank you so much. Just love, uh, humble. Yeah, man, I know, humble, man, humble, my brother. Yeah, it's all about being humble, humble before our Father, humble before those who are out. You know, the Bible talks about uh, walking wisdom towards those without. Uh, that's Colossians chapter. Uh, uh, four, uh, um, yeah, Colossians chapter four, verse nine. All right. Yeah. So, um, walking wisdom toward those without redeeming the time because the time is evil. Okay. I try to do that every day. Uh, I don't usually talk about that on here. This topic. It's not that people don't want to listen to it. Okay. If you want wisdom and knowledge, read God's word. Okay. God's word is full of wisdom and knowledge. All right. Uh, amen. Stay on your purpose. That's right. Stay on your purpose. Uh, do what you got to do, even with women. Guys, stay on your purpose, okay? When you're dealing with these women, okay? I'm not saying women are bad. You have to be on your purpose. Yes, live your purpose. That's right. Live your purpose. You want to get monetized on YouTube? Go right ahead. Get those 4,000 watch hours, okay? What are you good at? Like for Mr. Dane, he played music. Get those 4,000 watch hours so you can be monetized and make some money, okay? All right? It could be like a part-time gig, okay? While you still working at your full-time job, or you might one day to get those... Uh, your goal is to get big on YouTube, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. Don't let no one shatter your dream or your your thinking progress. Okay, don't let no one uh, put you down saying you never get big on YouTube. They don't know what they're talking about, okay? They're just trying to discourage you. Keep moving forward. Look unto the hills. Psalm 121 verse 1 said, My help coming from the Lord, which who made the heavens and the earth, okay? Stop listening to the uh, those who are, uh, have negative, negative uh, thoughts and, and, and words, okay? Be encouraged with yourself and with your father, okay, which is God, okay? Exactly, living in your one. Uh, stay on your purpose. Get rid of negative people that's not doing anything with their life. Correct, Donald. It is wasting their time waster. 
they're a time waster and and um they just try to when they ain't happy they try to make everybody unhappy because um they're not happy with themselves so what they try to do it discourage those who try to make it you remember i did a video about uh withhold not good from them which is in the power of thy hands to do okay basically with the book of proverbs uh chapter 3 verse 16 is telling us when someone had worked very hard and did a well done job okay was it going back to school was it had got monetized on youtube they work hard they've been up some hour they miss a couple of sleep and they got monetized okay let's give honor what honor do so what the bible is saying here give credit is credit due they deserve it so don't withhold that goodness from those who have worked hard and put in the effort that's basically what the book of Proverbs is telling us, okay? And a lot of people have a problem with that. You know, a lot of people uh, will, uh, will get mad because a certain person got a of time for what they did, okay? They don't sense being jealous and upset, okay? You can do the same thing. You just got to put the time in, okay? All right? Pick out stuff that, that you like, that you think people might like. Uh, be catchy. Do something that is catchy, that catch people's attention, okay? It's not hard. You just you can figure out what, what people like, you know? Dan Anderson, respect to you. Yeah, Dan, uh, Dan is awesome. Dan is an awesome guy. He plays that guitar. I tell you, uh, he's an awesome guy. Uh, he comes in here and say hi. He's just like the uh, Jamaican girl, one, two, three. So a big shout out to Mr. Dan Anderson from coming into the live. And a special shout out to Jamaican girl, one, two, three, who keep coming on my page when my live had ended and saying thank you for this uh, for these topics. I really enjoyed them. And she said, they are really interested, okay? And every time I see those type of feedback, it makes me want to do more, 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 okay? Glam Beauty, she comes in here from time, okay? Uh, we got Color Girl TV, my favorite. She comes in here from time, okay? Shout out to uh, Glam Beauty for coming in. Shout out to uh, Color Girl TV, CC Uncut. She came here a couple of times, okay? And those who didn't came in, they came in, never came into the live, but they did comment on my video. But I'm not I'm not worried about it. I'm not butthurt about it. Why? Because I gotta stay focused. Stay focused on my goal, what I wanna do. I can't worry about what nobody else doing and uh, what they're not doing by coming into the lie. I just gotta focus on what I'm doing to get myself where I need to be at. Right? That's a positive and and a motivation thing right there myself. I try to motivate myself by doing what I got to do to make it. Okay, why? Why I can make it? Because I got my father. My heavenly father knows that I can make it. All right. And we do, God do put people in our lives, okay, to encourage us to do certain things. Why? Because God's not coming down to heaven and say, hey, live your best life. You can do it. Okay. God speaks to us through prayer and supplication and his word. Take God at his word. Okay. All right. And God cannot lie. That's one thing God cannot do. God cannot lie and God cannot sin. Why? Because the Bible said there's no unrighteousness with our father. Okay? That's why. All right? So when he tells you something, believe it. And the rest assurance, it will come to a pass. But the Bible says in Numbers 29 and 9, God is not a man that he should lie. He's not us. We lie because we are human. But God doesn't lie. When Once it comes out of God's mouth, it won't return back to him bored. That means as waste or empty. Okay, a uh, human nature, misery, loves company. If someone is not successful, we cannot expect more from them. They would not. They would not want us to be successful. Successful people nine ten want to see us successful. That's right. Uh, screw. Uh, a lot of people hate that. I mean, you know, you got some people on YouTube. They they, they hate it without. They hate it without passion. You know, look at look at Carla Rose. You know, what I'm saying she got monetized in two months. And all those people that follow her channel stop following her and they start hating on her. They turn their back on her because she got monetized. That's ridiculous. Okay, no need to do that. There's no need to do that. Be happy. Okay, and what she did, she, all she did was song. I went to one of her live. All she did was song the song. How the Lord had blessed her. Okay, and I was happy for her. Okay, I, I ain't no time to be. But hurt, upset because she got monetized. Come on now, grow up. You know, people they, they 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 hate when people make it. They hate when people get monetized. 
before they do. They think they got to be monetized first before everybody else. You know, the Bible talks about, again, I know I keep bringing up the Bible. The Bible, yeah, that's crazy, screw. The Bible talks about the first should be last and the last should be first. What that's saying is those who think they're going to be first, they're going to end up being last. And those who the first try to put back in the last spot will end up being first. Okay? So stop complaining because somebody uh got monetized. Okay? Be happy for them. All right? So a woman, when she meet, meet a guy and then she well over overwhelmed with the guy. I don't mean like well overwhelmed as upset, but when she well over him, meaning she just can't help herself. She really likes this guy. And what she do, why they are not around one another, she would text him out of the blue saying, I really do like you. I hope we continue to do this. I can't explain to you how you make me feel. I mean, he, he'll get text messages like that. Probably some crazy text messages that he never heard from a woman. Why? Because she's well over taken by his by his uh his wisdom, okay, and his charm, the way he laughed, the way he make her make her laugh and feel a certain way. Excuse me. So she got to say all these things to him saying, this is how you make me feel. Kind of like a porn. This is how you make me feel. You know, I, I got butterfly in my stomach. I can't help myself. I'm drunk. I'm dazed. I'm confused. <laughs> when a woman, when a man got a woman like that, that means, this don't mean to manipulate her. It is that this man got her into a trance. He got her feeling a certain way that she never felt before in her whole entire life. And she just, she just can't help it to say, I can't wait to see you again. I can't wait. To hear your voice or see your text messages or your voice over the phone. Okay, why I'm saying this to you guys? Because I experienced this. I had a lady that done that to me. And I said, Lady, you crazy. Okay. I'm not God's gift to women, but the way I made her felt, okay. This must be a joke. I cannot believe that. Wow. Yeah, not a joke, screw uh when she got uh she when she got monetized, uh and she had, this lady had like 68. And I'm not talking about Carla Rose. Carla Rose, I love Carla Rose. And she's a sister. She, she's Jamaica. I go I go into her live too. Uh, Carla Rose is good. She's a great streamer. And, um, and she was saying, ready in front of everybody. She had to die. She said, ready in front of the, the live audience, like y'all now. She said, many people have followed me. I stopped following me because I got monetized. Okay. You know, and then she said, I thought y'all was my friend, you know, kind of like that, you know, so like, so they basically stopped following her, you know, like un, un, unfollow, you know, stuff like that. Don't comment on a video and, you know, but she, she's a, she's a, a guard film woman. And she said, God got her, God got her and God does have her. God got outside. And, um, so people just, just, it started to be happy for the lady. <sighs> yeah. You get, you get upset, okay? Yeah, you get upset because she got monetized and they didn't. You know, that's you should be happy for her. I'm happy for her. I'm still happy for her. I'm happy for um, CC Uncut getting monetized. All right. And I'm not going to be mad at nobody. You know what I'm saying? Jamaican girl, watch you get monetized. Lamb Beauty should be getting monetized pretty soon. Lord Brandon, he's still in the view. I don't know. He got. He should be getting monetized by now, you know. He he put the work in. You know what I'm saying? That's what the Bible's talking about. Those who have did a well done job, withhold not good from those. Okay, don't hold the goodness from them. Why? Because they they did they, they, they did what they had to do. Okay, they went live. They spend time on live. Okay, they have people to send into their live. Okay, that's uh, that's true. Screw. Yeah, uh, you know, people just, you know, they, they stop following her. I mean, I'm not, again, I'm not talking about Carla Rose. I, I, you know, I got a good relationship with Carla Rose. I go into a live. Uh, sometimes I leave uh, Living Your Best Life live or Screw Live or whoever live. I go into a live and, you know, first thing I get noticed, I go, good morning, woman. I, I don't know if I say good morning, woman. I say hello. And she go, King Art, how you doing? You know, that kind of thing in the public, so, you know. And uh, she had this uh, thumbnail up this morning. And I said, your thumbnail are very catchy. 
So she was grinning and laughing. I said, yeah, I know. I know it is. So she had took an updated picture for her a picture. And then she did a live from her office because she does office work. But these are people, she said, these are people that uh, used to follow me. And, and you know, it, it's just a shame. I'm not trying to get monetized. All I want is viewers uh, that find my channel to be helpful. They share it to other to help them. That is why if you are not into my content, yeah, I agree. I, I hear you. Some people don't want to get monetized. I agree with you on that couple because when I went when I went on YouTube, I wasn't thinking about that. All I care about how people can look watch my combos. Okay, original this channel was made for combos, not topics. Okay, I just started doing this because I thought it was I can tell I can tell some other guys and other women my experience with me or with with women and and tell women. The experience with, with men, and that's why I did this. Where's Sandra Bennett? She's here. Uh oh, I better not say that loud because she will kill me. I know I miss Sandra Bennett. Get in here, Sandra Bennett. <laughs> that's my favorite. I love Sandra Bennett. My life won't be the same without her. Germany Limbusat, how you doing, Donna? You already are helping other. Yeah, Donna, you are having other by uh, doing all your content. Uh, Donna, just being real, maybe in the future I might change about monetize. Right now, I couldn't care less. Left not now. Real talk. Yeah, real talk. Yeah. Leave the like up in the video. Smash that like button. Share the live out to people. So, guys, hey, Germany. Uh, you know, women actually make it easy for guys. When a woman click with a guy whom she met in the public, again, I say this again, she will make time for the guy, okay? First of all, right? Leave Smash that like button uh, before you come into the live. Don't leave without smashing it. And the reason why we tell you to smash the like button is because, not that we begging, it's because we try to share this live out for urban, so when people come in and listen to the live, okay? All right? All right? Um, so. Guys, uh, so when you see a lady seems to be giggling uh, and all this kind of stuff here, she really do like you, okay? All right? Sonia Nelson, I am here, baby girl. Yeah, she's here. I told you she's here. She keep changing that name. She about to stop. I like I like Sonia Bennett. You changing all these names. Come on now. Um, But yeah, she's here. Donna, living your best life. Thank you for those words. That means so much. That is my purpose on YouTube. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That should be your purpose. Whatever you love to do on YouTube, do it. Don't let nobody stop you. Don't let nobody hinder you. Do what you got to do. You ever heard that song by Kid and Play? Do what you want to. Do what you can. Do what you want to. Let's have some fun now. No, that's, that's really from an old school song. But they made a rap song out of it. Yeah. Hold up, Sandra. That's you laughing out loud. Yeah. Oh, I was missing you, Sandra. I know. Sandra Bennett, get in here now. <laughs> you better get up in here, Sandra Bennett. Don't be trying to uh, board King Art 70. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. It won't. The light won't be without Sandra Bennett. Yeah. It won't be a King Art 70 live. Living me too, Sandra, his sister. Yeah, so guys, when a guy, when a woman sees you and her eyes sparkles, that means she likes you, okay? And I, I can't stress this out enough, all right? Don't let no one tell you she just being nice, okay? No, 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 no. You can tell when a woman being nice. She don't, she don't really look at you into your eyes. She'll say hi. And then keep walking and maybe talk, maybe say a few things and then that's it, okay? That means she's not into you, okay? But when a woman look you in the eye straight and then kind of like a glaze and y'all laugh and you smile and walk towards one another, that means she's into you. She like you, okay? Yeah. Yes, Sandra, sister. Yeah. And then it goes from there, okay? That's how you know a woman into you and like you, okay? Smash that like button, share out the live. I've been live for one hour. I got Donald, live your best life, Sonia Bennett, and screw in, in, in Germany, hopefully. 
Okay. So um, listen. Tomorrow I was thinking about doing it all night. I was I was thinking about what do y'all guys think? You go say well, do what you want to do. <laughs> I was thinking about all night without sleeping, but uh, I just got to work at uh, six o'clock, so I'm gonna be a little tired. Uh, Sandra Nelson, oh, so sweet of you, living your best life. Yeah, y'all, you know, y'all interacting with one another. Okay, so what do you guys think? Do another silent live? Uh, be in front of the camera for a little bit and then let it run. Sandra rocks. Yes, yeah, Sandra rocks. Yeah, smash the like button as y'all coming into the live. King of Seven is live. Been live for one hour and ten minutes and fifty-five seconds. I know the loyalty. Yeah, I know the loyalty. And those who don't, those who you don't see living your best life, did not loyalty at all. Uh, I, I I came in. I went live this morning for about sixteen minutes. Right, and I had a, a lot of people in there. I had like uh Leon and and uh, I think it was Sharel Raru, Cool Cat came in, and we was just chopping it up, just chopping up the uh, conversation. I went live this morning, so if y'all didn't check out that video, check it out. It's uh it should be on my channel. Check out that live. Yeah, I know the uh yes, I uh, living your best life. I know those that are loyalty and those who are not loyalty. Uh, you know they don't come into the live. They stay for about a minute or two, and then they're out. Not even a minute, maybe a couple of seconds, and then they leave. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, all right. Go out with your friend. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I tell guys. If a woman like you, facts, all right? If a woman like you, right, and y'all not meeting up no time soon for that day, go out with your girlfriends. Go out with your male friends and have fun. She'll be there. She'll be back. She'll be there when you come back. She's not going nowhere, okay? Yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah, watch the replay when you come back. You know, no big biggie, no, no big hurry, okay? Uh, Donald, whenever you free to do it, watch the replay. Yeah, so uh, that's what I do. Yeah, that's facts because you can tell those who are loyalty and those who are not loyalty. Uh, you got those that are funny bunny. They call them. Uh, I think who call them funny bunny? I think it was Color Rose or Coco or Violin Coco. I think Violin Coco call them funny bunnies. Where if they go live, they expect you to be in their live, but when you go live, they won't show up. Okay, they are funny bunnies. Okay. You don't want funny bunny. All right. You don't want funny bunny because they're not they ain't, they're not for you. They're not for you. All right. Let me be like Donna just being real. Yes, you can tell who is loyalty and who is not. Yeah, those who that came in your life of five months ago, they don't even come no more. They don't even watch regular videos. Yeah, like Donna, like me and Donna was saying earlier in this live pop per list. Well, I had a guy one time had uh had stopped following me and then. Another month, he he re, he refollowed me. So you know what I told him? I said, "Why will you unfollow me and then refollow me?" And I said, "No, well, let me do you a favor. Let me unfollow you again." So I don't I don't appreciate you. Now, I let him know. I wasn't mad about it. I let him know that I don't appreciate that. Okay. If you don't want to watch my channel, just don't just don't don't click that red button. Okay. Don't waste people's time. Yes, you can tell who is loyalty and who is not. Cajun boy, hi, my brother. How are you doing? How are everyone doing? Cajun boy, how are you doing? How are you doing? I am doing great for Thursday. Cajun boy, how are you doing? Welcome to the live. Can I have you at least stay uh, 10 minutes, if you will? Uh, if you can't, I understand. All right? But we're talking, if you missed the beginning of this podcast, 
Casey Boyle. I was talking to everybody in this podcast about when a man and a woman meet out in the public, whether it's a restaurant or grocery store or whatever, okay? And they've seen to lock eyes, that's to say eye contact. When a man and woman see eye contact and they begin to look at one another, her puke is big. She starts to smiling. She basically letting her, she basically letting him know that she like him at the moment, okay? And what she's telling him is, hey, I like you. Why don't you come over here and talk to me? Or what you, what she's saying, start a conversation with me. And let's see where it goes at, okay? That's basically what she's telling the guy, okay? And when a woman like a guy like that, she usually fall well over the hill for the guy, meaning that she'll laugh at all his jokes, even if it's not funny. She will lean in to him on purpose, okay? On, pur on purpose, not, not because she wanted to do it, but on purpose to let him know for him to get a closer look, maybe look at her chest or whatever, and she'll touch him, okay? Women don't normally touch guys for nothing, okay? She'll touch him on purpose. Why? Because she want to let him know that she likes him. Okay? Well, I caught that with someone. that's not following. Then we follow. Yeah. I, this guy, I unfollow. You know what I did? I unfollow him. Because he, he every time I go live, he would never come in my life. I think I went live. In, I think I went in his life about three or four times. Never came into mind. So I said, you know what? I'm not mad. I'm just going to unfollow this guy. This guy don't like my channel. Why should I be uh, Cajun boy? I am so ready for Friday. Laughing out loud. Yeah. Friday, Friday, Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. Cajun boy, how second that? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Donna. Uh, yeah, Friday is Friday. But you know what, though? Cajun boy, all the days that God had made, it's good. You know what I'm saying? But it's something about Friday for certain people that it's just Friday. You know, it's the end of the week. All right? But God made it where. Friday, the winter, the fall, and the spring will never cease. What I'm saying to you, that while we're dead and gone, it will still be like that. So, yeah. So, uh, you know, Friday is good for, you know, for certain people. You know, I like Friday. Friday is okay. Yeah, Friday is all right. Living, you have special plan for Saturday or just time to relax for the week. I have plan. Yeah, I always have plan. Uh, to do things I plan. My plan is to work on my hours. I'm not relaxing. Work on my hours. Make my combos from more to come back 11. I do it all the time. I don't have time to sit around and say, well, this is what I got to do here. You know, I'm going to get my iPhone. Let me see what date I'm going to do today. Uh, let me see what girl I'm going to call today. Hold on. Uh, okay, let me call Kimberly. She's free. Hey, Kimberly, you want nope, I got things to do. I got work to do. I got work. Uh, I got combos I got to do. Uh, uh, that kind of nature, all right? I have plans. YouTube is a great university. You get to learn a lot from people. Yeah, it's a great university, man. Great university. Very great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, remember I told y'all to call my friend today? Guess who called? She did. And guess what? I was unable to answer it because I was busy working. All right? So guess what? I'm going to wait till tomorrow to call her. Because I'm... Okay? Living your best life. All goes well, lady. Yeah, everybody, yeah, I hope it does, too. hope it goes well with living your best life. Yeah. Yeah, hope you go well living your best life. Living your best life. Dun, 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 dun. Now, living your best life. Living your best life. Dun, 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 dun. King Art, call her this evening. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Well, you know how long this gap, you know how long this girl took? I hope two goddamn, goddamn week and a half. I wasn't mad about it. I know she was busy because she works a lot. Yeah, I do that. I call her. Saying, uh, Sanya, you are cracking me up. This morning with the name pronunciation king art. I was you were laughing at me. Oh boy, I'm bad. I'm not a scholar. Yeah. She ain't gonna answer. I ain't calling that little brat. She's a brat. <laughs> 
Y'all want me to call her? She's a brat. She ain't gonna pick up. Because no why, right? Because I didn't pick up. So what she gonna do? She'll give me the... <laughs> she gonna give me some of my own medicine. I'm scared. I admit that I'm scared. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. Uh uh, call her King Art, living your best life, and I'm crossing my finger for you. Yeah, I call her. She will pick up. Yeah, right. She'll pick up all right. I know her like a book. <laughs> she go, hello? No, she'll probably go, hello? I don't want to call her. But see, if I call her, then, then she'll probably call me. Then. I call her. Hold on. So, so Sandra Nelson, you'll uh, call her. I am. Hold your horses, will you? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so, don't, uh, so Sandra, you laughing at me? I ain't, no, <laughs> I ain't no Barry White. <laughs> that, she, that, little bright, that bright ain't gonna pick up. Watch. <laughs> I'm calling her now. Well, hello, Brooklyn girl. What's good? That I, I sure did. Woke from the dead. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you was? Okay, that's cool. Good. You checked on me. And you was, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you need to stop. You are you need to be fresh. You're being so fresh right now. Mm-hmm. But, 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 all right, check on the butt then. <laughs> I ain't know I had a butt back there. <laughs> mm, you are too funny. Yeah, make it up. Make it ass up. Yeah, that's me. Mm, it was lovely evening. There was a more. Who's that? Mm, Who's doing that? nothing. Who's that? Yeah, as usual. No, nine, a nine, a nine point nine. I'm supposed to be sitting on our ass. We're supposed to be out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Out doing what? Oh, you was off today. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Yeah, excuse me then. <laughs> So what time? You, I, I saw your call because I wouldn't. Um, well, you know what? I was busy and, and I looked at the phone. <laughs> uh, of course, yeah, I'm busy. I'm busy. Shoot, yeah. <laughs> I was busy and I get you. I get you for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was busy. I saw the phone miss call. And I was like, oh, she got miss it. I said, I, 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 I get it later, whatever. If not today, I get it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm hmm Oh, yeah. Mm hmm You miss my birthday? Oh, okay. I right. was like, oh, man, she missed my birthday. I'm about to spank you, man. I'm about to come over there and uh, knock on that door and go, open up. <laughs> mm hmm Mm hmm Yeah, I forgive you this time. Yeah, I forgive you this time. You whooped that ass, huh? Yeah. 
Yeah, I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know you would. That's why I said no. She, she wouldn't dare anyway. <laughs> nah, no. She, yeah. Yeah, good for her. It's better. She's better off not to come, you know? So, it went all right. I gotta go back. To July, yeah, July 729. July 729. It's on the Monday again. Yeah, why are you coming? <laughs> huh? Well, I had to get a, I had to get a public print. Yep. Yeah, that's bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I put all that down in the information. You know, that, uh, um, in the paperwork. You know. Yes. Yeah, let him, let her know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. She was. She came late. Yeah. 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 So I was thinking about you though. Oh, there. Yeah. So, oh, so I did tell you today, but I didn't, I wouldn't expect you to, you know what I'm saying, do the job. I told you I understand. I wouldn't even hold it against you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she's a witch. <laughs> Too much of a witch. Yeah. No, he just said, well, Mr. Johnson, um, this is all you going to recommend you. I said, yes, you are. I understand. You know, but I, I have time for it. You know, it don't take that long. It's basically, it's the lady with a computer and the, and the public defender sitting in the chair and actually some question in the year. Yeah. 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 Stuff like that, and then I went downstairs. I go down there, and then um, and me in the court, and I waited. They had to do a lot of lockup cases, though. Yeah, yeah, hell, yeah, rock them up. Send them, yeah, send them to Cheshire or fucking um, Bridgeport or something. Yeah, I was in your negative world last week. Um, Ch Cheshire. Yeah. Yep. Hell yeah, I was out there looking. Yeah, don't you worry about it. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Don't you worry about it. Mm hmm. That's right. I got a damn car. I can drive along out there. Not I wasn't at your job. I was out there doing something else. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. See that? Boy, get around, huh? I get around. Yeah. <laughs> You are funny. You need to stop. You need to put you on a rated R. You just too bad. You need to stop. <laughs> He's doing good. He's. I got his hair. He graduated last week. Yeah. 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 Um. One no has to. Yeah. Yeah, one of high school. I think it's uh, we were high school or something. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? So how your kids doing? Wow. Oh well, yeah, big one getting big. Of course, they eat you, eat you up. Yeah, yeah. So I, well, how old the little one? He's twelve years old. Oh boy, he's a big boy now. Yeah. Oh, boy. watch out, mama. I'm a big boy. Yeah, I'm gonna grow up and eat all them goodies. All them goodies. Mm -hmm. You think so? <laughs> Go slap him, slap the shit out of him. <laughs> Make sure I won't stand in your way then. Yeah, you don't put one of those guard things like the old pillars, like a metal pillar. Like, a man. like man, how can you hit you so bad, boy? Get the skin off your face, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so you gotta work more? Mm -hmm. I'm on, yeah, I'm bipping your Kool Aid. You know that. 
Drinking your damn Kool Aid. Yeah. Yeah. You got Kool Aid? Who, me? Oh, you asked me I'm working tomorrow? Yeah, who, you? Yeah, who, who we playing? Look, look, we playing tennis ball? I'm asking you. If you knocking me back this way, I'm knocking you back that way. I'm knocking you working tomorrow. You working tomorrow, huh? Ah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm around. I'll be around. Let's put it I'll be around. Yeah, I'll be around. Mm -hmm. right, I'll be around. Yeah. Yeah, we're not doing it tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like to, uh, have to go out. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, some restaurant over here. So. Yeah, take you right out. You got to the uh, restaurant. I'm not that damn road taxi. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah, that's nasty. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like that magic, man. If you ever take me there, I'll be like, nah. Uh uh. Wait. Yeah, not that damn nasty shit. That's Texas Roadhouse. I know they got TD Friday over there. How is that play? That's good. Yeah, hit or miss. Oh. Why not? <laughs> hot the bot. Very hot. We talking about like chili hot, red hot, it's on your mouth, you drink the water. Oh. Yeah, that lukewarm stuff. You don't want that stuff. Man. Like, yeah, exactly. Right. Like, I want some hot food, man. I'm gonna like, lay over in some hot food. You know? Yeah. Okay. Where else they got any water? They don't have too many restaurants in Waterbury. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Not doing it tomorrow. Tomorrow evening. I know you get out late tomorrow. Unless you, unless you, uh, unless you don't have to work tomorrow. Right. That's right. I'm gonna be up in your Kool Aid. Yeah. Be up in your Kool Aid for real. I mean your Kool Aid for real. Yeah. Yeah. Up that Kool Aid. Mm -hmm. So if you're not doing it tomorrow, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes or no. That's all. Yes or no. Remember, I'm a big boy. All right. Remember that, right? If you say no, I. Uh huh. Yeah, yes. Yeah. You got to see your schedule. Yeah. Okay. Check your schedule. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got a schedule. All right. <laughs> Yeah, check that schedule. And let me know. And guess what I got? I got my new iPhone. Oh, it, I love it. It's the XR. It's the XR. It's a red. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. I was missing a whole lot of things on it. Yeah. Yeah. I love, yeah, this shit is fat. I got the FaceTime on and everything in here. Big ass stream. Fast. <laughs> you funny. You need to stop. You need to stop. Yeah, you need to stop. You being fresh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Take the Android and go. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the big boy. You need to stop. Big boy. Yeah, it is. Big boom. I mean, it's a 6.1, you know? So. I was thinking about you earlier today. I said, damn, I should have called her up. I said, nah, I don't want to have my new phone on her. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm just kidding, man. But it does have a different number, though. I, you know, I know I changed this number because I'm calling you from my Android phone, the piece of crap phone. <laughs> yeah, uh, I could. I might still do that. I might go back. Yeah. Yeah, so I didn't do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, check your schedule. I'm not. Mm -hmm. That's right. Check that schedule. Let me know. Mm -hmm. Tonight or tomorrow. Yeah. What? 
Oh boy, your eyes okay? You can come scratch your eyes. <laughs> nah, I'm the doctor. I'm like, hold still, man. I'm like a little, yeah, I don't know. Dr. Johnson. <laughs> you are funny. You need to stop. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna spank you when I see you. You better stop. <laughs> She's doing good. My baby sister up here. She came up here Monday. Yeah, she came up here Monday. You know, I gotta go. I gotta go see her tomorrow. Yeah, my, my sister bell me. Yeah. 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 Mm hmm. Gail Marlene. Some, yeah, that's her middle name. The first name, yeah, get, the first name is Gail, and the middle name is Marlene. Yeah, yeah. So, I still thought I'd turn your phone call. So don't forget, let me know tomorrow. All right, I'm gonna be looking for that text or call. All right, uh huh. Well, I'm gonna call you up. If I had to call you up, you know what's gonna happen, right? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think about the roadhouse? Is it too salty? I mean, you ate there before, right? Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah? Mmm. Yeah. I'm going to try that out then. Mm. Oh, like a little appetite thing. Yeah, like an appetite. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. Right. Oh, that's good. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. All right. All right. All right. You keep me posted. I'm going to be looking for it. Um, if you can't go, be real. Don't lie. Be real. Uh, I'm going to be checking on you. All right, I, 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 I'll get a ring tomorrow. All right. All right. Good night. I love you. All right. Bye-bye. All right. All right. I'm sorry about that, y'all. That's my daughter. Got that thing playing in the background. Trying to that thing got music on it? Ameris. Ameris. She's sleep. Ameris. Ameris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She knows. She know I love her. Yeah. King, I can hear. You. Hold on. Yeah, let me see what kind of music are you. Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I told my stepdaughter down to play that stuff in here. Yeah, she had a she had a tablet. I hope they don't flag my video. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I supposed to call her tomorrow to confirm the date. The date. The date. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go get another. I'm gonna get a haircut. And I gotta go shoe shopping. So. Okay. Yeah, I gotta go shoe shopping. So where's uh? Let me see. Is it living your best life still here? Donald or Sandra, where are you going to take her? I'm going to Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse. I mean, their food a little salty, but they got some nice, they got some nice biscuits. Rosie Cunningham, hello. It's a real date when you buy shoes. Yeah, I know. 
Yeah, I gotta get some shoes because uh, she's on point. Yeah, and I don't want to look. I don't want to go look like a bum. Yeah. Hey, Rosie. Rosie, thanks for coming into the live. Can I have you at least stay? Uh, uh, whatever you want to stay. Ten minutes. Whatever. Ten minutes. Twenty minutes. I'm over. I've been live for almost two hours. Uh, hey, Rosie. Oh, that's is the steakhouse. Yeah, Rose Steakhouse. Texas Road Steakhouse. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Rosie. Yeah, so I'm going to take, we're going to go there. Well, I got to let her, I got to call her to confirm it. She told me to keep me posted, but I told her, don't play no game because she know how it is. Last time she did that shit and then she know what happened. You know, I don't, I don't hit women, but you know, nothing like that. I don't, I don't hit women, but I, I know how to get her back. You know, and she know if she said no, I know, I know how to take it. Okay, I love one near. I love the one near me. I heard they have good steaks. Yeah, they got good food. You know, what good steak food, eatable stuff like that. Y'all was cheering me on when I was talking to her, right? Y'all was cheering me on, telling me to ask her out and all this stuff here and and that kind of stuff. Mama done cooking. Tell Shanti, don't forget to bring that charger back because that's not hers. Because she will keep it. Yeah, all right. Close that door. Oh, yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? Living your best life. Never ate there. I have to check it out. I love a good steak now and then. Every now and then, yeah. We were laughing with you because you were blushing. Oh, y'all, y'all were laughing at me because I was blushing. Yeah, I was blushing. Yeah, she make me blush. She does. She was just te she was talking a lot of trash. Like, you know, not like, not like disrespectful trap, but like funny stuff, you know? Like, oh, you know, you try to be like this or that, I'd be like that, whatever. But, you know, she know how to get to me. She know how to make me blush. And I know how to make her blush. And while she was doing it, she was just giggling in the background. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I make this topic. Because I basically took that from me and her, how me and her were uh, reacting. I said, you know what? I can make this a great topic, Okay. How to tell a woman really like a guy, okay? All the time, the energy will be there. It doesn't matter, okay? It will be there. Y'all will talk. You never go argue. You just go be y'all. Y'all gonna be acting silly, okay? But at the same time, you can act. You can be more serious with your conversation. You know, like she was asking me about the court and everything. And I said, oh, it went okay and stuff like that, and you know, stuff like that. And then we still giggling and laughing, and she's still being silly. I'm being silly. I'm acting funny. We make one another feel good, okay? And when she called, okay, you, you thought she got butt hurt because I didn't call her back right away? No, that's what I'm talking about, okay? That's why I keep telling people in my life, okay? I know what I'm doing because I've been through all that, okay? And so when y'all say call her back today, I said, I want to go call her back then anyway. I will call her back tomorrow, all right? Okay, go. I would have called her back later, but, you know, I don't want to intrude because what, what time it is now? It is 9.21. Normally, I don't call women that, that, at that time of the night, but she was up, okay? So she called me around about, I think it was around about uh, 2 o'clock, but I was working. I didn't have my phone on me. Anyone you care for will make you blush. Yeah. Oh, I, I love her. I like her. She makes me blush all the time. I make her blush. I know she would pick up. Yeah. Women knows this thing. Yeah. She's been waiting all day. I know. <laughs> uh, 
I know, but I did it on purpose. I was working. I had to you know, live your best life. I had to go. I left at six o'clock today. I had to go get gas, and I had to come. I had to come take a shower. Then get relaxed. Then get myself uh, ready for this live. What I should have been. I should have called her first before the live. Living, she was waiting. Yeah, she was waiting. Yeah, she's been waiting. That's why I made this topic because I mean her. Me and her have this type of thing with one another that we always laugh. I mean, you ought to see us. You are. Oh, and one day I'm gonna ask her to do an interview, interview on YouTube. I got. I ask her tomorrow. One day I have her. Uh, we can do a recording. Maybe I record her iPhone conversation. You know, but I don't know if she want her picture on YouTube, so I don't want to do that without her content. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so we might do FaceTime. I gotta, I gotta see. I don't know if she wants to do FaceTime or not, but yeah, I might have to put her phone in my phone. I've been there. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, exactly. First, ask her. Yeah, yeah. I will ask her. Say, hey, can I? Uh, I want to interview. Or for me to do an interview, with, uh, like a conversation or a video. I don't want to put a video on the, on YouTube. Maybe a, maybe a conversation. That way nobody don't see her. Maybe a comment. And then load, upload it as an audio and let y'all listen to us talk back and forth. You know, you're here. You, you can tell her talking and me talking. She's cute. She sounds so cute. You know, stuff like that. I will go put it on the speaker and let y'all hear her mouth, hear her voice. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's my yeah, that's my um that's my queen. That's my my black queen, you know. Yeah. She's she's a good girl. I mean, I don't own her, but you know, we, we, we've been talking for for a while, you know, like Back and forth. Sometimes I don't talk to her for about a couple of days, and and you know I don't sweat her like that. She don't sweat me. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, like that. I don't ask her who she hanging out with. I don't do that. I'm not insecure. I don't do none of that stuff. So. Oh, yeah. So she know. She know I like her. She knows that. I don't have to tell her. She knows that. Yeah, she knows that. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, she know not to be playing no 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 game with me, no mind game, because she know. Uh, she do it. She know. She know. She know what happened. <laughs> I'm just joking. Let me stop. <laughs> yes. Yes, Keisha. Correct. Correct. Come in, though. The money got going to the bank tomorrow. If I can get. So I got paid. Huh? Me. Yeah, thank you guys for coming into the live. So I, I, I'm glad y'all did encourage me to call her because I will go wait till tomorrow to call her. But she was waiting all day. I kind of felt bad now that I had her waiting all day. I, mean, I could have called on to work, but you know what I said? I said, maybe I go live and then if I call her, or she'll call me back. You know, something like that. Yeah, so uh, I like her. I like her. So I'll let y'all know how the date went if we if she don't back out, okay? If she don't make excuses or whatever, I don't know. I shouldn't be thinking that way, but you know, you know how women's are. Stuff like that. You don't feel bad. I a little bit. I you know, here's the thing living your best life. Here's the thing. I don't really feel bad that I I, I waited this long because sometimes when you call a girl back immediately and text her, you're showing that you're desperate, needy, and clingy. I mean, you act like you don't care. This don't mean I'm trying to manipulate her. Okay? That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying you act like, you kind of act like you don't care. Like, she's not your priority. Okay? That's why I made it seem like. Okay? I, I saw you call, but I'm not going to drop everything because you call. Okay? Right? It's too many women out in the world for me uh, to drop everything and say, oh, Keisha called me. Let me see. No, come on now. No, 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 no. I like her. I respect her. I'm not going to be rude to her neither. 
Okay, I do. I, re I really do like her. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, right. <laughs> she knows. She does me like that too. Sometimes uh, I'll call her. She won't call back until about. She'll she'll wait till about. Uh, remember the time I tell you I call her five o'clock in the morning, and she didn't call me back until two o'clock that evening. Okay, King Arm, my brother, and chat. I have to go now. Flung lie. Keep us posted. Everyone have a blessed night. Well, thank you, Donald. Have a great night. Have a great night. Thank you for coming into the live. I appreciate you. All right. I'm sorry the end. The end of this live might be a little bored. <laughs> but thanks for coming into the live. I appreciate it. And I will keep you posted. Okay. We'll keep you posted on the line uh, on the uh, on the setup on the date. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get up off here too a little bit. I got nine minutes left, and I'll be logging off. Uh, okay, Donna, have a good night. Yeah, have a good night, Donna. Thanks for coming to the live. I I definitely be watching some more of your videos. Living your life. When are you gonna make live again? Fun. I have a nice ending. Fun. I have to get my beauty rest. Yeah, go get your beauty rest then. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and get your beauty rest. Congratulations, Rosie. I have 807. Yeah. Be careful with that, Rosie, because Google don't like that. Google don't like that. Be careful with those numbers. Wow. So you go, okay, you go, um, living your best life going live tomorrow, late around 10 p.m. and 11 p.m. That's one hour. Now she might go over. Okay, thank you.